All right, I'm standing here with Executive MF Vice President of Sales at Nighthawk, Mickey By God Shields. What what kind what is this? That's, we're gonna do something like that, all right? Okay. Go ahead and say testing one, two, three. Actually, my name is Roger Michael Delanor, T legged, tie legged, bow legged by God Shields. But Bill calls me Mickey. meeting for the NRA. I'm standing here with Mickey Shields, the Vice President of Sales from Nighthawk Custom. This looks, Mickey, like it might have started out life as a Remington something or other. You want to tell me a little bit about this? Absolutely. In its former life, this was a Remington. It now, Bill, is a Nighthawk. Now, what we do when we get that, uh, when we get this shotgun in, we take it completely apart. The first thing we do is blast the finish off of it. After that, we put the finish on it. Now, this particular finish here is what we call a Patriot. It's, it's a silver Patriot finish done by Hillbilly 223 uh, right down the road from Nighthawk Custom there in Arkansas. And as you can see, there's all kinds of detail from the flag up to the Statue of Liberty that uh, actually doubles as uh, Boyd's logo. Right. After that, uh, when we start to put it back together, everything is honed. Van Comp puts a, a system in the end of it here. It's got a Van Comp sight, which can come with the uh, red fiber optic or tritium. Uh, we get it back, we hone the barrel, hone every piece of action in it. Uh, we put in it a, a, a new follower, a new spring, a new extractor. You know, a lot of this ammunition now, the shotgun, uh, shotgun ammunition is not all brass anymore. Right. And, and one of the things that happens is when you get the, the swelling, that can jam if one of these is not honed correctly. Well, this one being honed, and when, when you work that, you can tell the difference in the action. There's just a lot of difference when we get done with it in the trigger. Uh, we put our own uh, peep side on the back with a rail, Mesa tactical side saddle, and, uh, and then she's ready to send out. I, I can tell the action just watching you yeah. operate it. Um, kind of like they all come as this one is set up with the Magpul furniture, the shell carrier on the side and everything else? Well, this is the 2.5. So there's uh, six or seven different models, and uh, this particular one does, yes. Is this uh, fully dressed? Uh, no. We can put a light on it. We can put a sling on it. We can, uh, we can take this old girl and put earrings, high heels, and lipstick on her, get her doll all the way up. Bill. Back at the Nighthawk booth, we're talking back again to Mickey Shields, he of many names. We're going to look at the chairman. Tell me about the chairman. This is a six inch long slide, nine millimeter, Billy. It has a DLC finish. Got the, the gold barrel, rail scales, grips, adjustable rear sight, gold bead on the front sight. Interesting tidbit about this gun. It is scary, wicked, accurate. Alan Wyatt, when he was doing his R&D on it, took it out and uh, shot eight-inch steel at 100 yards. And at 100 yards, he hit, of course, the boy can shoot. I mean, that's, that's pretty obvious. But he hit steel nine out of ten times. Pretty impressive, and we've got that on video. I shot that at, at SHOT Show. or that Probably not that one, but the nine. It's wicked controllable, too. It, it is. It's fun to shoot. It's about like shooting a 22. This is a gun that's fun to go out and shoot. you got the one-piece mag well, extra aggressive cocking serrations, supported up here on the slide. Just really, really pretty. Uh, kind of comes with all the bells and whistles. High heels and lipstick, if you will, Billy. I like the high heels. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I dig that. So this one is a, this one is a production model at... Nighthawk. It is a production model. I would encourage people to get their order in. We're seven months behind, so they want one this year. They need to get it ordered from me. I consider it well worth the price of admission, though. I have shot it. Um, it's not that heavy. I think you could conceal it because, I mean, the concealability about it's going to be about how much a butt sock's coming out, which is not coming out excessively. It's like a 1911 platform. 
it is on a 1911 platform, just a six inch slide. Right. So, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to shoot. That slide is just like it's, oh my goodness. That's just like sliding down a banister, Bill. And it's got the uh, all the attributes. It's got the big adjustable side on it. It's got the extended controls on the slide release and the safety and and it is. But it is fun to shoot. This is one of the ones I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk Mark out of one of those. That's the one I want. So we'll work on this. We'll work on this. By committee, Billy. By committee. Yeah. Mark Stone. <laughs> yeah. Y'all keep them cards and letters coming. Tune in next week, same time, same spot on the dial. Next up, once again with Mickey Shields at Nighthawk, we have a double stack. This is 9mm, yes? It is 9mm. This is a Talon. I brought this one on board here, uh, Bill, so that we could take a look at just what the possibilities are. This has got a custom Cerakote paint job on it from Hillbilly 223. And, uh, of course, Billy, you know it's springtime and mushroom season in Arkansas. It looked like Hillbilly run into a whole patch of mushrooms before he painted this gun, but it's fun and uh, kind of shows you what he, what the boy's capable of doing there, see. You know, the best rock music was back during the 80s when it was in vogue to do the drugs. Absolutely. I seen you kind of kicking it with Ted Nugent there the other day, too. So. Yes, sir. <laughs> Guilty, Bill. Guilty. This is the Talon. Again, that slide, that fit. I'm, I'm just telling you, there's nothing like running a good 1911 when somebody built that thing and knows what they're doing. If you've never, if you've never run a slide on a Nighthawk, what you have to remember about this is that with with other guns, when you run a slide on a 1911, you're going to feel a bit of bite, where it feels like metal is impacting metal, and that's just the nature of the beast. Except with Nighthawk, where the hand fitting is so precise. And everything is so evenly set up that it just doesn't happen. And it doesn't happen when it's new out of the box. It doesn't happen when it's got a couple of thousand rounds to it. No, there is no box gun that can compare uh, to something like this. Controls, the gun's been blacked out. All the small parts are black. That trigger set at three and a half pounds, crisp. Oh my goodness, breaks like glass. And it's just almost a surprise when the gun fires. Now that looks like, is that a commander length or is, am I just thinking that because we just got off of the chairman with the six inch barrel? No, this, this is a five inch gun. Okay. Uh, this is a five inch gun. And one thing I can say is that later on in the summer, uh, we'll have a double stack that's a new model. So uh, kind of keep your eyes peeled, Billy. That is coming. I am looking forward to that. So this is just a couple of things at Nighthawk Custom. They have more models than we could cover. I could start filming them right now. We'd still be doing this sometime in, on Wednesday. And you probably got something to do on Monday, don't you? I got to get back and get these orders filled. Yeah, Mickey's been having a good show. We have, we have had a good show. That's outstanding. So do a couple close-ups on that. Nighthawkcustom.com.